So have you cancelled your membership? The golf club is my one luxury. OK. I'll have a diamond necklace every year if we can afford luxuries. That's different. Why? Well, because this is about the business. Why? Why, why? Because this is about uh, networking. That's why. It's about making contacts, striking deals. <laughs> the only deal you strike is getting three quid off a gross of baked beans, and that happens at the cash and carry, not at the golf club. This is about image, and it's about reputation. I don't want you to give up your golf if it's that important to you. Thank you. You see, I knew you'd see where I was coming from. So, hmm? why don't you cancel the private one and join the municipal one? I got the details off the internet. It's run by the council. It's really good. And it'll save us a fortune. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's more to this than meets the eye. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Sean. People call off the wedding sometimes. It's not a crime. I'm with Sean. I don't think we know the half of Whatever's that. happened, it's none of our business. Yeah, OK. See ya. Now it's even weirder. What? That was our Maria. She's going to stay with Carla. Why? So Carla's upset because the wedding's been called off. But what about Liam? She's taking him with her. Well, that's lovely of her. Oh, come on, Izzy. Why would she uproot a small child if it wasn't deadly serious? Just exactly what are you implying? Well, according to Frank, Carla called the wedding off, yeah? So? So? Why is she so devastated that she's got to find somebody to move in with her? It's perhaps just did to what she's done. What he's done more like. What do you mean, Sean? I'm saying nothing. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm so sorry about all this. I thought I'd come and settle up. Yeah, um, I've worked most of it out, so the booze is sale or return, so it's just an admin fee there. OK. Um, the foods are right off, I'm afraid. No problem. And I don't know what you want to do with the cake or flowers. Take them to a hospital, maybe? Oh, damn, I've forgotten to cancel the ban for tonight. You want me to do it? No, no, I'll do it. Just give me a minute. How touching. You raped the bride and then shed a little tear. Keep my mouth shut if I were you. Because you're in enough trouble as it is. Why is that? For helping Carla set me up. I've seen some brass necks in my time. Save it for the lawyers. They should lock you up. And they should throw away the key. For what? For giving her what she deserved. What did you just say? You're not jealous, are you, Peter? Yeah, see. Yeah, you're a bit jealous, aren't you? <laughs> oh. GVH as well, eh? You're racking them up, Peter. You might fool the coppers, but you don't fool me. What's going on? <clears throat> Peter. Peter, look, do you want to know what really happened? Hey? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. All right? Carla. She likes it rough. So that's what I gave her. Come on! Come on, break it up! That's what he deserves. <laughs> don't what be are you stupid. doing? Don't be stupid. Come on. Okay. Peter Barlow, I'm arresting you for assault. That's the bloke you should be you arresting. Don't have to say anything, Not me. But it may the rapist. The rapist. Don't mention my question something which you later Carla dumped him last before. night. She so he raped her. Anything you Go on, tell him, Frank. Tell him the truth. Come may be given in evidence. Do you understand?
If you're ever in St. Louis, you'll see this thing. It's the Gateway Arch. Well, there's a mode of transport to the top of it, and you shall come with me, and you will be the better for it. And we'll be joining Billy Connolly for Route 66 next tonight.